Hey, 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 everybody. How you doing? What's up, everybody? It's Lamar. And Angela. And we are here today coming to you uh, to bring you the long-awaited answer which, to which, our house hunting series. Yeah, which one did we pick? Which one did we choose? Oh, my gosh, guys. If you have tuned in with us and have been through our journey, you have gotten to see a lot of the houses that we got to see when we were looking for a home when we first moved to Mexico. Yeah, so we kissed a lot of frogs, as my wife says. We've <laughs> we seen some, some, some interesting configurations of houses. Sure did. And um, learned a lot along the way. We How sure did. We absolutely learned a lot. But again, if you have not had a chance to check out our full entire House Hunter series, eight houses that we were able to check out for a family of five make sure you take a look at uh what what we have and then also don't forget to subscribe yeah don't forget to subscribe become a part of the family because we're in the on a journey to show you how to live life abundantly yes we are a family of five a middle-aged couple mm -hmm. who decided is this really all that there is to life even in the midst of successful careers and, right. and a successful home life, we really wanted to explore and, and really make a life that made us happy. And if that's something that seems of interest to you, please join our family. Yes, join our family, come along for the ride. We have a lot of things in store for you to see as we, uh, explore our, our lives here in Mexico. Yes, we picked up and moved from Maryland to Mexico. And in doing so, we had to find a place to live. Yeah. So, yeah. y'all ready? Ready. Okay, so let's recap what we got to actually take a look at, all right? Ah, house number, number one. one. Yes. The theater room the house. The theater room house. Very nice house. Yeah. It's a very nice house. Four and a half bedrooms. Uh, three and a half baths. It had that fabulous outdoor entertaining yes, space with yes. a little with a little uh, area to grill and all that kind hot of tub. Stuff. Had a hot, hot tub. tub. Oh, and a nice theater. Room. Oh my gosh, the theater room. room. Yes, and an elevator. Yeah, it did have an elevator, which we weren't expecting and did not expect to see in the house. Did not expect to see partially furnished. It did. It did come partially furnished, furnished because yes. we were bringing our furniture or well. Our, some of our belongings, not Belonging really that furniture, furniture, yeah, from the states. But we did have that as a, you know, as a concern. Yes. So if you don't remember, let's take a look at some of the pictures. Yes. Here's some pictures of of that house, that fabulous theater, theater room. Theater room, the view from the uh, open to the uh, living room, family room area down below. Really nice. Uh, nice entertainment area. Really nice entertainment. Nice uh, bar area. Like, really uh, great. The outdoor area mm -hmm. was really nice. Well, it was a nice house. It's a nice, nice neighborhood, house. too. Okay, so what happened? What was our grade? Oh, uh, well, had the modern electrical infrastructure. However, it didn't have the hobby space that we were right. looking for. Right, right. If you have been checking out our series, we really detailed in the beginning of each and every video what we were looking for. Right. And those things that are listed on our list, eh, house number one didn't quite meet the standard. Yeah. Um, and, and as far as modern houses, it's very modern house. It just did not have the space we needed to have our hobbies. It didn't have the rooftop garden that you were uh, looking yeah, for. Garden, um, and it didn't have nearby convenience stores that we were hoping to have nearby. But that theater room, yeah, though. The theater room was really ah, nice. The theater room. Yes. Ah, that was really nice. Yeah. But it didn't have a, a space for a guest room. No. Or didn't. or at least for us to have the hobby space. It just didn't have those types of things. No, it but did that not. theater room, though. It was really nice. Ah, then, so then that brought us on to house number two, two. which we affectionately have called Casa, Casa Cucaracha. Cucaracha. Yes. <laughs> Five bedrooms. And if you watch the video, you will find out why we call that house Ca Ca Casa Cucaracha, Cucaracha. Okay. So five bedrooms. Five bedrooms. Four baths, two and a half baths. Two, two, two half, half, half baths. baths. Right, two right, half baths. right. Uh, main house with an attached guest bungalow addition. Yeah. 
covered parking garage. Oh, right. It had large, that really large open area yeah. when we first came into it. That was really yeah, nice. Yeah, large yard with covered patio. Yeah, right. Servants' quarters with a bath. quarter, right. And lots of storage. It did. That house had lots of storage. And if you don't remember what it looked like, this is what it looked like. The yard was fantastic. I mean, if you, and we have had, came with our dogs. Yeah, right, right. So a nice yard for the dogs to go out and run and do their business and, and just, you know, frolic if they wanted to. It's a good size, it was it a was sizable a, yard. It was a very large house. And, and to have the main house along with a guest house on top of that was great. In terms of the space for our hobbies, that seemed like it would, yeah. would meet the bill. So if we're talking about our score on Casa Cucaracha, uh, there were some issues. Um, modern uh, electrical in infrastructure, which is very important for, with modern appliances and technology, routers, switches, and things like that, it just not would not support that. Um, and not, that's not to mention my hobby stuff. Right, the, exactly. Me too. My embroidery machine. My heat press that I use to decorate and embellish for, or decorate and embellish clothing and things like that, it needs some serious ampage. And some of these houses just don't seem to have the modern infrastructure. Now, to give you a little bit on this house, it was a nice house. There, there was a uh, guest house that mm -hmm. was new and added. Right. However, the main house, oh, what a mess. You, If you watch the video, whoo. It was a mess. The <laughs> kitchen, and there was so much stuff. And we had comments, people asking, houses really like this? Do they show them like this? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, yeah, they do. They actually do. You they know, some of the do. houses are in transition. The ones where people were moving out were fine, mm -hmm. but there were a few of them that were just a little bit messy. Well, a little bit messy. Okay, there was a, a lot of it messy on some of the houses. And, and I think from our perspective, when... People put their houses on the market, especially in the United States. States. You tend to have a realtor that you work with in terms of selling your home. And that realtor, it is that mm -hmm. realtor's job to make sure the house is staged and it's cleaned up. And usually, if you have a good realtor, they will make sure to tell you, you might want to put this away, take that down, clean this up, paint that, this, that, you know, all that kind of thing. And and they especially know when the showings are going to happen. They tell you that they're going to happen when they're scheduled. So you can make sure you can clean up, make sure because you are there are people still living there. So you still have to make sure that things are cleaned up. Unfortunately, the way or fortunately, I don't know, it depends on the way you think of it. In Mexico, that's not how it works. In Mexico, a seller can put their house on the market and various agents all kinds of other realtors can attempt to yeah. sell that house. Yeah. So because if you go in their listing system, you will see that house listed multiple times. Yeah, you might find the same listing, but being offered by right. different realtors. Just right. And so that's kind of confusing for so who is actually selling this house? Who am I actually working with? Right. And that can cause some confusion. And then also sometimes the houses aren't put forth in the best light to yeah. show. So yeah. I, I, I would say from a standpoint of, uh, if you look at it from a customer service standpoint, mm -hmm. if I'm s renting a house, I want to put my best foot forward. Yeah. But in some think. cases it didn't. So this house, oh my goodness, it was a mess in the kitchen. It was a mess yeah. in different rooms. There were still things there from the elderly couple that were moving out. Yeah. Now the neighborhood was a, was really, a really nice, nice neighborhood, neighborhood yes. well sought after in the Juriquia area of Queretaro. Very nice area of the Villa de Maison area. This is really pretty, um, but <sighs> it just it just wasn't going to cut it yeah, for us. It really I'm not wasn't. Sure, that was that was going to work out no, for us. Right. So then we came to Playground Paradise, which right. is the one that we called. Uh, which was our house number three. So if you didn't remember what this house looked like, it was three bedrooms, three and a half baths. Furnished. This one was furnished. Right. Um, it had this really nice modern feel to it, a living room with a gas fireplace. It right. had a large family room up on the second, second floor, floor with the exercise, exercise equipment. Man. And it had a, and Ooh, this roof, one had a rooftop, had a rooftop deck. deck for entertaining. Yeah. Neighborhood had a large playground, very large playground, front, uh, pool. pool, basketball court, yeah. tennis courts, um, 
football yeah. or soccer. A and little entertaining like area, area that you that could, you could, you could rent parties. parties. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice house. Yeah. So if you remember, this is what this one looked like. So what was our score on this one? Well, it had the modern updated electrical infrastructure, it which did, is key. Because it was new. It, it was, was new. Pretty new. Fairly new. However, as far as the dedicated hobby space. <sighs> Trying to find to make it work because it only had three bedrooms. Right. It only had uh, one of our dogs is in the back here trying We're to have to get the little baby, <laughs> but uh, it only had three bedrooms. So uh, that was going to make it kind of tough for us right. to maybe have to jank things around to accommodate guests or when the kids come home from college. Right. Um, that was going to be a little difficult. Also, right. Just trying to fit our hobby stuff in there. That was kind of that seemed like it was going to be hard. Yes, too. it was. It was going to be very difficult to, to take care of that. So, And this area didn't really have all that many convenience, convenience stores. stores to get to. Yeah, yeah, you definitely needed a car. Yes, for I sure. I mean, we brought our car with us, but you really needed to have a car to be out in this area. Yeah. So, uh, nice house, though. Nice house. Nice house, though. So then this brings us to house number, number four. four. So... We call this one Hurikia Main Street. Yeah, we call that one Hurikia Main Street because it was sitting, sitting on, right on, on the main, main road, road in Hurikia. Five bedrooms. Yep. Four baths. Yeah. Two half baths. Right, right, right. Main house with attached guest house. Another one. With bungalow a guest edition. House. Yeah. Large yard with real grass. Real grass. Some of the houses have artificial turf. Right, right. Um, lots of natural light. Yeah. Lots of storage. Yeah, it did. It had lots of storage. Now, if you don't remember what this one had looked like, this was, take a look at these two pictures. This was a picture of the outside of the home. I don't know if we showed this particular view of the outside of the home, but right. we definitely showed you what this looks like. Then the other picture is a picture of- The yard and the bungalow. The, the view to the bungalow. Right. Very nice bungalow. Now this house was used um, previously as an office space for a company that it did export imports. Right. And it housed, you know, they said somewhere between 25 and 30 employees. Right, during the day. So 25 or 30 people could fit up in this house. Right. Now, the house, as far as the modern infrastructure, was, you know, perfect. Um, it did have some networking stuff in it. Oh, right, right. It did have things, but it was in the master bedroom. Yeah. Um, so, but in terms of checking all the boxes, boxes, yes. This house checked all your boxes. Yes, it did. It checked all my boxes as far as the modern, updated electrical infrastructure. It did. Dedicated uh, hobby space and nearby convenience stores. As a matter of fact, it was very close to a grocery store, like oh, right, right. Shadrawi. And also not too far from the local uh, hardware store, which was the Home Depot. Right, right. So it was in a really great location. Uh, it didn't have the guest room space for family. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't have a rooftop garden. No, it didn't. It didn't have any kind of really view because it sat right on the main road. I mean, as a matter of fact, when you open the, the sliding glass door from the, the balcony in the bedroom. Bedroom. The master bedroom. You could hear traffic noise. I mean, it may, and, it, and that road, as we've lived here in, in, in this area in Caretaro, uh, that road stays busy it all day, every day, busy. all night yeah. long. People are up and down, up and down that road yeah. constantly. So Loudly. Loud. So we were like, Ugh, I don't know about this one. But this house was the very first house that we saw that actually ticked all your buttons. Yeah. Yeah. So then the next one we saw, house number five, five. is the one that we affectionately call one story old, old story. story. <laughs> and it, we call it that because it had, and it, it was huge. It had yeah, five huge. bedrooms. Yes. It had seven baths, baths at full baths, one, one half bath. One half bath. It was spacious. It was mad spacious. It had a fireplace. Wood burning fireplace. A wood burning fireplace. fireplace. Yes. Large kitchen, large kitchen with dining rooms. And then, that one had an attached bungalow yes, that had a kitchen also. Yes. It had a big, big, big yard because, again, it was in a really older, established neighborhood here in Quiretaro. And that, that yard had a little waiting mm -hmm. pool. That yes. was really nice. Let's show you some pictures of what that looked like. Oh, and that tree. tree. They, they, so trees here are very special. 
So I've noticed in a lot of the neighborhoods where a tree is being is growing, they will build sidewalks and also roads around them. They sure will. And not cut down the trees. Yeah. And so that tree in the backyard looked like it looked like it had been here since Adam and Eve. It looks like something from, <laughs> okay. from, from Harry Potter it or something. Did. And it just it was a huge tree. It looked like the tree of life. Yes. That thing was huge. Yes, it did. <laughs> but and the house in in and of itself. Uh, yeah, the problem was modern electricity uh, infrastructure. Yeah. yeah, it did have a hobby space. It did. It, Nearby convenience stores, work. no. But but the problem with the, the electricity in there, some of these houses are old, so they'll have like maybe four or five breakers in the house. Right. This house in particular had uh, outlets that were extensions from a light fixture on the ceiling yeah it, it, and there was no ground so it yeah. was a two-wire connection coming down and a lot of the electrical connections were two-pronged not three-pronged yeah so it would not have been able to accommodate some of the modern uh electronics that we were oh bringing. my goodness it was it's crazy it it, as a matter of fact, the way some of the house was laid out, it it was it felt like a maze trying yes. to walk around in there. You could easily get lost in the house just kind of, just by the way it was laid out. It wasn't laid it out. It reminded kind me of, of my grandparents' house in Kentucky, where my grandfather it was a room, then he built on another room, then another room, mm -hmm. and then when we came down, he had shifted one room from one side of the house to the yeah. next, and it was just. It was kind of like a hodgepodge of, of things something I, someone was adding on to periodically. This house definitely felt very hodgepodgey. Yes. <laughs> but uh, it, it did, for me at least, have the dedicated hobby, hobby space. space. No rooftop garden. It did have a rooftop garden, but mm, yeah. it did have some guest room space for yes, family. It did. So yes, if it family did. were coming to visit, we would have a um, place yeah. to be able to accommodate them. So that was nice. Yeah. So moving on. To the next house, we call this one Maison Medica. The Maison the Medica, because yeah. it was in the Villa de Maison area of Querétaro. Yeah, very again nice established neighborhood. Yeah, the architecture of that home. Oh yeah, it was a beautiful home on the inside. The stonework, oh. all of that was really really nice to you know walk through the house. Right. Um, four bedrooms, three baths, mm -hmm. one half bath. Uh, well built, maintained, lovely garden. The garden and the courtyard were fantastic. Right, fruit trees were oh, there. Oh, right. Yes, that yes. backyard. If yes. you don't remember what the house that we're talking about, it was this house. Oh, yes, that had that beautiful courtyard, courtyard in the front, front, and then it had that huge backyard. backyard. Had a basketball court with in the basketball court in the bin. bin. Oh, yeah, wow. it was a great house and. It, it gave that kind of old world kind of feel. You had the ceilings that you like. Oh, yeah. Um, the brickwork yeah. in the house, the stonework was just, it was a beautiful, it was as far as now, the archways. Granted, now this was a house that we weren't able to actually show video because it was being used as a medical Ooh, treatment. Therapy, massage, physical therapy, and they had patients. Yeah, so, so they wouldn't let us bring our cameras into the house to show what was going on inside the house. So right. So we didn't we weren't able to bring you video of what was going on inside. So the pictures that we showed are pictures of the house as it's empty. Right. We didn't see it empty. No. We saw it in a hot mess. Yes, it was. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 and there were patients in there. Right. So, so it's kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But it it at least uh, had some of what yeah. uh, did you have? So, see, the problem with this house was, and we saw this in several houses where yeah. bedrooms only had one outlet. Oh, oh. You yeah. and this house one outlet for the whole room. And this house was the one that had the jacuzzi. Oh, in the master bedroom, in the principal bedroom, Why? In, in, in the middle of the floor, in basically. the middle of the floor, in the master bedroom was a jacuzzi. Yes. Who does that? It was, you know, and then getting to the closet. I remember that um, having to walk into the closet. It was like a small corridor. Oh, right. Yeah. And it was kind of hard to get through there. So yeah. um, that uh, was crazy. But yeah, it would not accommodate. I mean, think about it. If you're in the bedroom and you have two nightstands. 
you, 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 if you have a lamp, lamp and a phone, phone, that's it. You can't charge. You can't do nothing else. No. You. I mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is some of the things that we ran into learning about older homes that were have been built here in, in Mexico that would not accommodate yeah. some of the more modern uh, yeah. electrical conveniences. Mm, but that house was, it was pretty. It was yes, very, pretty, very pretty house. house. Very pretty house. So that brings us on to house number seven. Oh my, this one. The house that the kids affectionately call Beyonce's summer home. Yes. <laughs> Five large bedrooms. Big, big bedrooms. Six baths. Fabulous three baths. half baths. Three. Modern spacious home. Yeah. Modern office. Oh, that office. Large ensuite bedrooms. Oh, my God. All the bedrooms had closets and ensuite be bedroom. Uh, All the, the, the bedrooms, bathrooms could accommodate a king size bed. bed. Every last bed. All of them had bathrooms. Uh, there's a pool. Now, the outdoor space. Oh, the outdoor space. Can we just pause right here for the outdoor space? The pool with the kitchen. The outdoor kitchen had a had a flat top. Oh, my gosh. So you could do cheese steaks. You could do breakfasts out there. Big. It, it had, had a grill. A it, the refrigerator. Entertaining space. space. Showers outside. Space for you to have a television outside. Side, two televisions, televisions outside. So you, you could either be chilling in the pool, pool watching, watching TV, TV, right? Or yeah. you could be in the kitchen, kitchen area. area. And, oh. Yeah, and then it had a putting green. A oh, putting green. And off the balcony, you could get you had a view to the El Pablito uh, pyramid. pyramids. Yeah, fantastic view. Yes, this is what they just yeah. Oh, yeah. That house right so there. Go back and watch that video. That house was hot. That house was bad. And the open architecture. So upstairs, it had a long corridor as you came in, but there was a glass bridge mm -hmm. on two of them that crossed over to the entertainment area back to the kitchen which was open large gourmet kitchen oh my god huge pantry huge huge, huge pantry huge i pantry. mean just amazing it does tick all the boxes except yeah. for the convenience store now, in terms of our our list it had everything everything beyonce summer home had everything i need except for the convenience stores other than that it had the electrical infrastructure. Right. It had the hot, dedicated hobby space. Right. Right. Rooftop uh, garden, yeah. almost sort I, of. I, I said almost Most. because it didn't have the the garden on the top, top. of so that you could see, but it did have uh, balconies that had a fantastic view. It had a nice garden area off of the bedroom area. So oh, each right. bedroom, you could walk out of a sliding glass door right. to the garden. There were fruit, some fruit garden. trees out there. Yeah, lots fruit of fruit trees. trees. Oh my uh, God. Really nice home. That house is nice. Yeah. Go back and nice. watch that video. It is fantastic. Oh, ow. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. And then lastly, that brought us to, to house number eight which we call the Regal Regency. Regency. Mm -hmm. Five bedrooms. Five bedrooms, yeah. Six full baths. There was not a half bath in this house. Six full baths very in the true. house. Very modern, true. contemporary home. It was very modern. Large kitchen with a dishwasher. You don't see too many dishwashers in some of these kitchens. Very true. Master bedroom. Matter of fact, is that the only house that had a dishwasher? Yeah, I think so. Because even Beyonce Summer Home Oh, didn't. yeah, the Beyonce Summer Home didn't have a dishwasher. Master bedroom with a jacuzzi tub and a lot, and it had colored lights. Oh, right, right. That lights, house had colored lights. lights. Large Outdoor spaces, three large. It had it a patio, the deck off of the kids' room, right, and over into the the because this house has a front attached guest house. It has right. a full kitchen. That's right. It had a separate guest entrance that you could have your guests staying in a whole unit of their own, with own. their own kitchen, own laundry, own uh, deck. Oh, it was it. That house was fantastic. Yes. Had a patio on the lower level for that guest house. Mm -hmm. So it was self-contained. So if you had guests that were coming to stay in this house with you, family, friends, you had plenty of room because it also had the two full bathrooms, one lower, one up. Oh, and then also don't forget this house 
was in a double gated, gated community. community, security gated community, which meant that you had to come in one gate and then you had to come in another gate just to get to where the villas were. Right, right. And it backed to a former golf course. course so yes. it had a really nice community feel to it or what yeah. have you. So in terms of the pictures, these are the two fabulous pictures yeah. of the house yeah. that might jog your memory right. about which house we're talking about. In the second picture there, it, talk, it shows, depicts the, the uh, chandelier that hangs in the foyer area mm -hmm. that was inspired by the Hotel California. Oh, right. The, oh, yeah. The in the song for, for the house. Eagles song, the Hotel California that actually exists. Welcome to the Hotel yeah. California. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So really, yeah. really nice house. Oh, it's fantastic open uh, television room uh, oh, right. upstairs. Right. So it's a very open architecture. So you could come up there, watch television. So what our score with this one? It had the mod, oh, the electricity in the house was fantastic. Oh, wow. um, yeah, dedicated true. hobby true. space. We had dedicated hobby space. True. Nearby conveniences, we could walk to the local tiendas right up the street. True, very About true. a five minute very walk true. and get you know fresh vegetables, fruit, very true. Things like that. Butchers. Mm -hmm. um, they had tortilla, um, uh, fresh tortillas being oh, made right, in right. town. A lot of stuff was walking, within Just walking. Veterinarian was right up the street. Right. Um, it optometrist. Did it did have that. So you can go get your eyes checked. It had a lot mm -hmm. of conveniences that were right, right. within walking, walking distance. distance of that bakery, mm -hmm. the bakery, the Pandaria. Yeah. Pharmacia. Yeah. That was so great. all of that was right there. I gave it a check almost for the rooftop garden because it did not have a rooftop view. It had three nice decks right. or what have you. And one of the decks on the back of the house that was off the deck, uh, off the, what would be the, where the kids would stay. That one had a nice little view right. that you could see off kind of in the distance over the houses. You can right. kind of see a little mountain view or what right. have you, but um, so I kind of gave it a little bit of a check mark, almost right. didn't quite meet it, but almost. And then the front of the house had a, it had a, um, a second story deck right. that looked over to a field field, with, but had livestock horses with, goats. A, with a donkey or, you <laughs> know, or some goats yes. and a horse, you yeah. know, well, I mean, you know, it's not the sexy rooftop action I was looking for, but it, kind of, you know. it wasn't too far from Antia Mall, the largest right. uh, indoor mall in Latin America. Yes, that's true. So yeah. it was very close to all of those things. Things, but really nice house. Right, right. So, oh, I don't know. It <laughs> we had a lot of a lot of choices to choose from, as you can see. Right. And and I want to men mention this part too as well in terms of how much it costs. I know some people were really curious about right. how much it costs. And we didn't put the prices on the houses by on on purpose. Right. Because in with the fluctuating dollar to Mexican peso, yesterday's price is not today's price. Right. <laughs> it may not be today's price. And what but what we knew our budget for all of our housing expenses would have been 2,500 US dollars. Right. So that would be for your lights and for uh, gas and water and, and, and that, rent and all that kind of stuff. Yes. 2,500 was our cap. So every house that we saw fell under that, that framework. Right. Some of them fell way under. Yes. Some of them hit right up on the, right up at that board, right smacking right up on that board. <laughs> right up on our budget end. Right. But we they we made sure to stay within a particular within that budget range. Yeah. So, so which one did we pick? Which one did we choose? Oh, I'm trying to do a drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> which one did you choose? So it really came down to Oh well well, how about this? How about we do this in house hunter style? Yeah. Which one did we not choose? Uh, we can well, tell you right now. Yeah. Casa Cucaracha was out. No, that was a, that was a no for me. Was dog. a no for me, dog. Uh, then it was the uh, one story old, old story, story was out. Out. Uh, Maison Medica, Medica was out. out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, then it came down to um, the uh, theater room. Oh, theater room. <sighs> Out. Out. Ah, yeah. 
had to let Theo Rune go. Yeah. Ah. Um, um, Hurricane Main Street. Oh, too loud. Duh. And because of some structural issues in that house, it was like, nah. Even though that separate uh, bungalow was would have been fantastic, been fantastic yeah. for the hobby space, yeah, but it didn't would've... have any guest room space. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so far we eliminated one story, two story, old, old, uh, one story, old story, right. Maison Medica. We've li Main eliminated Hudikia Main, Main Street, Street Playground Paradise. Play Playground Paradise was nice, but. So we eliminated one through six. So that leaves only two. Beyonce, Beyonce Summer, Summer Home? Home. Ooh, that was nice. Real nice. Oh, the, the pool, the entertainment area outside. The, or the, did we go with Regal Regency? Regency yes. Very Regal, nice, nice house. house. With a, a guest room or a guest uh, suite. suite that with the full kitchen and the laundry. Mad space. space. Mad, mad space. space. And in a double gated neighborhood. Maison Medic or um, the Beyonce Summer Home was, I believe, 8,000 some odd square oh, feet. Oh, yes, the 8,000 square feet. It and was huge. The, it was humongous. Oh, and then. And that was in our budget. Yes. And it was in our budget, y'all. It was in our budget. 20, under $2,500. Yes. Beyonce Summer, Summer home. home. Which did we choose? It was Regal, Regal Regency. Regency. Yeah, we went with Regal, Regal Regency. Regency. Um, that one worked out much better. Yeah. Um, and then on the back end. Now, listen, listen, let me tell you this. Actually, we tried to go with Beyonce's Beyonce Summer Home. home. Let's, let's tell the story. story. But the owner was. They were playing games, y'all. He was showing his entire. We were, they were playing games. Yes. Yeah, now, playing when games. we went to see the house. It, the house had been vacant for a little bit. But, and so we asked, um, is anybody else trying to bid on this particular house? Because the, the time frame that we were working with was prime time right. house hunting season for families. Yes. You know, the summer, trying to get into the house and, and get established and situated before the school year began is a prime thing for families. So we were up against a lot of competition at the time. And so we asked, is anyone trying to actually, you know, has anyone put a contract on the house or is anybody interested in the house? No, no, nobody's had to come in. Oh, yeah, we're like, yeah. okay. okay. Okay, let's okay. go. So when we got in there, we- We were doing the paperwork for nice. the uh, policia. The policia juridica. Juridica. We put all of our, we said, okay, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's write it up. Let's go. Yes. And then all of a sudden it got kind of weird yeah. with the owner because he suddenly was, was like, like, well, I don't know if, you know, renting to you Americans, I don't know. Right. And we were like, well, we, if, if it will make you feel more comfortable. We'll pay, we'll pay six months in advance. We'll pay six months in advance of our rent up front. <laughs> then he says. Holla at your boy and your right. girl. What's yeah. up? What's then, up? He, then he says, oh, I don't need the money. Ooh. He, uh, Ooh. You, uh, you, you got, don't need the money? Okay. Multi-million dollar house just sitting here vacant and you don't need the cash. Okay. All right, Mr. Thing. Okay. Do, the thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. But he didn't get back to us in a what we felt was a in a timely way. And then also um suddenly there was someone that appeared on the scene that he suddenly wanted to um possibly sell the house to and it just uh we just i i, I smelled games yes i and smelled guess, games guess what guess what <laughs> that house has been vacant ever since it's been <laughs> yeah. here almost two years oh hello hello oh, oh so so and i guess you don't need the money huh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so right. yeah yeah so we went with uh, Regal Regency. The Regal Regency. Regency. Everything yes. fell into line oh, yes. with that house. And the hobby space, the local tiendas, it's the Pandaria that was right around the corner outside. You think the he's game. mentioning this bakery again? It was, it, it was really special. Um, <laughs> It, it was. It was definitely. It's definitely something that's special about that that whole thing. But the TN just to be able to walk up to. There was also when we first moved in there. Uh, we we moved in when we first oh there moved was a in, taco place taco when we moved ah, in, yeah. it, we oh man listen we tacoed it up yes tacos yes. 
all the time. All the time. All the time. And then the Pandaria, they started uh, one of the searches that we had. <laughs> well, you know, the thing about we had us, we did a thing. We, we stayed were, in that bakery, y'all. We did a thing where we were searching for pizza. Yeah, that's true. Very true. And and it was not so much the panda, but he, when he started, ser- you know, making pizza, the we pizza made a was comment good. to the to the bakery guy that we just can't seem to find good pizza, pizza. here in Queretaro. What's up? Right. He's like, you know what? You're right. Yeah. One of the pizzas we uh, it said artisanal pizza. <laughs> The sauce was basically ketchup. Oh, yeah, it was terrible. It was terrible. Ooh, it was terrible. Good terrible. We have another video coming out uh, pretty soon of In Search of Good Pizza yes. in, in Queretaro. Yes. But he began to provide ke- uh, pizza right there from the bakery, and it was delicious. Yes. Absolutely it was delicious. delicious. So we chose house number eight. eight. Which is Regal Regency. The Regal Regency. And we will have a tour for you of, of our home. Lamar has already given it away that we are no longer there. That's an update. Yes. Because this is a whole year later, y'all. Yes. A whole year later after we moved into that house. So uh, we can't wait for you to hear of that experience yes. and then to see the, the new- next set Sorry. of house hunting. House hunting. So and, we'll, and this isn't it, by the way, just in case you yeah, this isn't it. thought that it was. No. Okay. No. <laughs> no, you don't see houses. Well, maybe somewhere here. In, but most of the houses here, the architecture is very much a modern, contemporary mm. style, not A-frame because... You could find some older, older homes, homes but, but, but yeah. yeah, you don't see too many of these so. like this. There you have it. Did you guess correctly? Did yeah, you, did you guess, guess correctly? Right? Did you pick it? Because I saw we saw a lot of comments that said that the Beyonce summer home was their favorite. Oh, and, and then we went to the regional regency. They were like, "Oh, this one's nice too." I'm not sure which one. I, you know, uh, but that question that we got several times was that whole thing about showing houses that were a mess. Yeah. Now I'll let you know, our agent said she would not have gone for that. She, if she was working with someone selling or renting a home, yeah, they make sure that it's straight and it's cleaned up, that it's not a mess. Shout out to Ali uh, of House Hunters, Hunters Kedetro, Kedetro, Monica. did a fantastic job. Yes. They did a fantastic job of helping us find our first home. Yes, and, they did. And we can't wait for you to see the video of what the final product was. Because if you remember, the house Regal Regency was, was a, a mess. mess. Hot mess. Yes. It was a hot mess, yes. but I could see potential. Yes, there was potential. I saw potential. And me being the techie that I am, I uh, did I, some things. I to did it. some things to it to make sure that the house had internet proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can't wait to tell you all about that yeah. and bring you all in on that journey as well. Yeah. And on round two, two. of our house hunting, hunting series. series. So thank you thank for you. tuning in. Tuning in. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Yes. Um, we and be sure to follow us on all of our social, social media. media. We're at Lamar and Angela, Angela on TikTok, on Instagram, Instagram Facebook, on Facebook, the whole nine. Yeah, follow us because we have tips and things like that all the time uh, for people who are mo- moving and living, wanting to live abroad. Right. The most important thing is to live life Abundant. abundantly. And yes. that is what we are in a search for. And we want you to have that same experience, exactly. to live Absolutely. life in uh, abundance, abundance of whatever that is, is for you. Yes. Yes. So we want to share that experience with you as we are on our journey to find abundance and you can be too. Yes. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. And we will check you guys later. Okay. Take care. Later. Bye. Bye.